warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good evening Venerable Dr. General Datuk Pahlawan Dr. Mat Amin Bin Uslan Director General of Health Services Division Malaysian Armed Forces The Honorable Brigadier General Datuk Dr. Muhammad Amir Bin Jinhamdan Commanding Officer Head Tuan Kumizan Brigadier General Datuk Dr. Syabah Hussein Bin Fazli Head of Surgical Department Head Tuan Kumizan Speakers of the Day Datuk Datuk Specialists, medical officers, nurses, and the rest members of the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, the team for this year's and evening session with the veteran is prostate cancer. I'm sure this is a hot topic among men over the age of 50s, including our veterans. Therefore, today we have four speakers to talk about the different aspects regarding the prostate cancer. Without further ado, let me introduce the first speaker of the day. He is the Head of Urology Department and Head of Internationalization, Faculty of Medicine, University Malaya. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Dr. Ong Teg Ek, who will be answering the question, I'm already retired, should I be worried about prostate cancer? Please welcome, Prof. So, uh, this is my name, Dr. Ong. Very worried, not worried. I think in summary, no pushing for about 10 years. Then I come back, it's like a one circle, like pushing and balik. Uh, I came back here in 2010, uh, nine years ago. So now I'm here, uh, 2010 and 2019. Now I'm uh, here. So that's myself. Prostate cancer, uh, for prostate cancer, you know. I mean, this one is showing uh, it, it, it can be very easy and it can be very difficult. It's a go deeper, deeper, become very deep one, you know. No, uh, actually the principle all very simple one, very simple, but you know, as a poor people become very deep. You know, so prostate cancer we say you know, can be difficult, can be easy. Nah? Huh? So what we want today is to make it the simple principle, you know, so you can go back and teach your friend, you know, you become an expert today yeah? uh, after five o'clock. Huh? Okay, next we will call upon the second speaker. He is the senior consultant in robotic surgery of oh, and kidney transplant surgery in the Ministry of Health and the former Head of Urology Department, Institute of Urology and Nephrology Hospital, Kuala Lumpur. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Murali Sundra Mikhail Abdullah, who will deliver going under the knife of prostate cancer, human or robot. Please welcome sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Going under the knife, human or robot. The picture there is the wall knife. So the walnut is the international symbol that we call LUTS, L-U-T-S. So, when you do get this kind of symptoms, it's time to go and see your friendly urologist and tell him, you know, I've got all these symptoms and can you please check up my prostate gland. So in the majority of... We also advise people with prostate cancer to change the diet any diet which is good for your heart is also good for your prostate. Ladies and gentlemen, here is come to our third topic of the day. So let's welcome our third speaker. He is the pioneer of the urology services in Malaysian Armed Forces. He is the former head of urology department at Tuan Kumizan. He is also the president for Malaysian Board of Urology. Please welcome Brigadier General Dato Dr. Sivalingam to deliver Stage 4 Advanced Protest Cancer, your number one year. Very important uh, forum. And I want to thank all of you also for sharing the time to be here despite uh, the haze that we're having outside. All of you are here. Mainly because you want to avoid being diagnosed at an advanced stage. Um, I think Professor Ong mentioned a little bit about screening. We don't do routine screening. But we need to have the awareness on some of the symptoms. We talk about prostate awareness campaigns. That's why we have forums like this, where you can understand about the prostate. You can spread the word around and hopefully get yourself checked after the age of 50. Okay? Public forums like this. 4% of our patients in the advanced stage is going to cost a lot of money to the government and to you. So early detection is the key. And that's why... Next, we will hear the sharing from the fourth and last speaker of the day, the Head of Urological Services, Department of Surgery, Hospital Angkatan Tentera Tuan Kumizan. Please welcome Dr. Colonel Dr. Ngo K. Siong with the topic Prostate Cancer in the Malaysian Armed Forces. 
Please welcome, sir. Good afternoon, uh, the Honorable uh, Lieutenant General Datuk Dr. Muhammad Mar Amin bin Muslan, Director General, Health Services Division, Malaysian Armed Forces, the Honorable Commanding Officer of Hospital Architecture, Tong Ku Mizan, Head of Department of Surgery, Hospital Architecture, Tong Ku Mizan, Datuk Datuk, ladies, we have a few ladies in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for staying back and I'm just going to sum up what the other speakers have told us and just give you a perspective of uh, what's the situation currently. And, so, and what we have heard from Dr. Morali earlier on, if you are early, you come in with early prostate cancer, if you are fit, if you are suitable for robotic surgery, that is where we collaborated with Hospital Kuala Lumpur uh, to do robotic prostatectomy and I have been there to assist him to do some surgeries. It's a wonderful surgery but again it's very costly and I think the Ministry of Health also has some difficulties in sustaining the facility for the future. So, uh, thank you very much for your attention. So, very importantly is, regardless of application, if you come early for detection, then we may actually salvage and hopefully cure you from prostate cancer. But if you come late, all is not lost, we will help you. But the onus is on the patients themselves to come regularly for follow-up and update us on what's been happening. So, uh, thank you very much for your being less problem uh, got infection, you know, or that, that kind of thing. Uh, so, so uh, there are medicines. Of course, it's got this, this peculiar side effect one, uh, so of which we have to know. Uh, uh, I, I think better let you know. The first first group one, uh, the one relaxed, the prostate one, uh, the first group one, 10% have dizziness, burning, burning. Of course, some patients they take uh, the blood pressure, they drop, uh, so they burning. So that, those patients, they cannot take the medicine one, uh, even though buggy free. Uh, but if you cannot take it, 10%, 10%, luckily la. Uh, so 90% no problem. Then this second group one, this one that reduced the prostate size by 20% one, very effective one, you know, and then not burning, no burning. But 10 to 20% of people taking the one, the penis poor erection. So uh, before we end, I would like to invite the Director General of the Health Services Division, uh, Malaysian Armed Forces, uh, Yang Berbahagia, Lieutenant General Dr. Amin Bin Muslan to come on stage, uh, to come forward accompanied by the Commanding Officer and the Head of Department of Surgery to present a token of appreciation to our two speakers here. <laughs> what's, in the is, what's in the bag? <laughs> who is always a great supporter of our urology program. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming.